Hello, my name is Jan de Koster. Welcome here in my studio in Mechelen, and that's a city in the middle of, of Belgium. For the past 30 years, I've been making all kinds of interactive installations here in, in my studio. And I remember in 2008, I, I visited a conference in Berlin, and that's where I saw a presentation about the project called Arduino for the first time. And it immediately caught my attention because I could uh, uh, imagine already the possibilities to, to use them in physical interactive installations. So four years later, I got the chance for the first time to, to create a, a machine for a campaign for, for Mini that was controlled with an, an Arduino and an Ethernet shield. Uh, and that was just the start because I made many similar installations where people could in the, yeah, on social media could control physical installations in the in the real world a few months later that's where the real breakthrough came because i got a call from another agency asking me if i could build them a robot uh, the, the robot was called yummy and he had to act on a stage to uh, to be the host on a website i had never built a robot but uh, yeah i was a character designer and i had built many physical installations so it made sense for them uh, to ask me and suddenly there was a click and I realized yes I am a robot builder that's what I'm going to do from now on so indeed the next 12 years that's um, uh, mainly what I did creating robots in all shapes and forms for many different uh, situations applications but most of the time this, these robots weren't really practical so they weren't solving practical problems they were bringing a message a story they were storytellers uh, and that is why it's so, so important that these robots are able to have uh, to make a connection, to have uh, an empathic connection with people when they meet them at uh, festivals or at exhibitions or, or when we do when, we, when they travel the world, uh, because they they've some of the, these robots like Robin and Rachel they went uh, to other uh, continents and uh, and sometimes I could join them but uh, often they were just on their own. And people were just taking care of them. Nonetheless, it was really fascinating to see how they weren't, they weren't just taking care of a machine that I had sent them, but the, the, the person, the characters, became really important when they were discussion, discussing their interactions with, with these, uh, these robots. People were, it was like they were feeling that there was a, that there was a heart and a soul in these robots' characters. Uh, and that's why the Arduino had such a symbolic role in all of this. Because in the heart of all of these robots is an Arduino board in some form uh, controlling the algorithm that uh, steers the behavior of these robots. So you could say the Arduino is the actual heart of all of these robots. So I really hope we can uh, continue this journey with Arduino for many more years. And uh, thanks a lot for uh, listening to my story and uh, see you next time.